this video we're going to talk about running a regression with a previously categorical variable that has already been transformed or dummy coded and we're actually going to use it's going to be a multiple regression so we're going to use a dummy coded categorical variable and we're going to use uh, as an independent variable and we're going to use another independent variable which is scale level and of course we're going to use our um, dependent variable which is going to be also scale level so what we have is family income uh, our research question is mm, does the race of the respondent influence family income controlling for the respondents years of school completed which is uh, I think a pretty interesting question um, of course the issue here is that the race of the respondent uh, is not scale it's it's in nominal level and in the previous video I encourage you to, to look it up uh, under dummy coding we actually um, uh, were, were successfully uh, transformed each of the each of the categories here white black and other into their own distinct new variables and these are the ones that we will be using these are our dummy coded variables for race and these are the ones that we're going to be using in in our regression analysis okay so to to take a step back uh, what we're doing here is we're going to be looking at two independent variables highest year of school completed and we're going to be looking at uh, these dummy coded variables for race and we're going to we're going to control for each other and and see what their 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 influence is on family income but because this these are dummy coded variables we're not actually using their their value uh, as, uh, as as a number what we're using uh, them is as, as a category is it helps if you think of them as being turned on or turned off uh, they're either they're either being looked at uh, in terms of their influence on the dependent variable or they're not being looked at in terms of their their influence on the dependent variable but most importantly and this is where things do change uh, a little bit from what we are accustomed with with uh, scale level variables is that when we do the dummy coding when we do the dummy coding as we have done here these three different variables for our categorical variable when we do the dummy coding in regression what we're doing is we are comparing by pairs we're doing pairwise comparison uh, for, by uh, uh, or against a reference variable and how we determine what the reference variable is it's up to us uh, and it's according to theory it's according by what you think makes sense in terms of uh, a comparison group okay uh, in our case I'm going to use white okay so the, for the respondents who answered the race as being white I'm going to use them as our comparison groups that means that we're going to use the other categories compared to white okay and that's important to keep in mind because when when we do our analysis uh, we have to keep that uh, we have to keep that straight it is going to be a little different than uh, for example the other variable that we use which is the uh, scale level variable highest years of school completed in terms of running the regression um, we're going to do as we normally do we're going to go to regression and linear okay our dependent variable is family income Okay, and our independent variable is going to be, we're going to have this one here that that's a scale level variable, highest years of school completed. Okay, and, and next we're going to have our, our dummy coded variables. So this is important. The trick to remember here is that whichever we decided to be our reference variable, we're not going to include. Okay, and I said it was going to be white. This is going to be our reference variable or the variable that these other two variables are going to be compared to. So we leave that one out. But we place the other two in. We hit 
hit OK. And our output is similar to any other regression that we might uh, run before. Of course, we get our, our r and our r square here. We uh, get our significance in our ANOVA test. We find here that there is the, the model is uh, statistically significant. We see that, and then, then we focus on the coefficients. And here is where it gets uh, a little different, OK? We are looking at, let's just interpret the first one, um, which is the, our, our, our scale level variable, highest year of school completed. Uh, remember that our dependent variable is family income in constant dollars, OK? So, so we look at our un unstandardized uh, beta, which is going to be using the units of, of our dependent variable. In, in this case, it's dollars. So when, when we look at this, we're looking at actual dollars, OK? And so we, we go and interpret our, our first independent variable. And first of all, we see that it is statistically significant. Okay, and what this is telling us is that for every year of of school completed, this uh, affects positively. You see that uh, there is no negative sign here. Our dependent variable, which is which is dollars, by five thousand seven hundred and fifty-four, controlling for uh, race. So controlling for race. For every year of school completed, it has an impact of $5,754 on family income. All right? So again, that that is as normal uh, sort of standard uh, regression coefficient will be interpreted. Now we look at our dummy variables, OK? And our dummy variables are different because we've turned them on or off, OK? And we are either, we're comparing here black and other to white, OK? And so what this tells us is that compared to white, blacks make, and you see the negative sign there, so blacks make $17,719 less than whites controlling for education, highest years of school completed. So again, the way to interpret this is that blacks, your, your dummy coded variable here, blacks, compared to white, because we decided that white is our comparison group. Okay, that's the that's the that's the one that's that's not in here, that's not included in our model. Okay, so that's the only thing that we could compare it to. Compare it to white, blacks make seventeen thousand seven hundred and nineteen dollars less than whites controlling for uh, education, OK? And our next finding, we find that actually it's not statistically significant, OK? But it says that uh, those describing themselves to have a, a, a race uh, as other make $4,033 less per year than whites, controlling for highest year of school completed. However, that's not statistically significant. So that's how we interpret, that's how we interpret dummy-coded categorical variables in regression, OK? Now, if you look at this carefully, what we, what we have done here is we've compared black to white, and we've compared other to white, but we haven't compared black to other. And if we were interested in that, we could do that. OK? And so the way that we do that is we simply go back and run the same regression, more or less. Go to regression, linear. And here we have our variables. And so we're keeping the same here, but we want to compare 
we want to compare black to other. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to introduce white and we're going to and whichever we want to take out here it could be either one of these okay it's still going to give us the same numbers okay but we're in other so I'm just going to take out other okay so basically what I did is I just changed uh, I just changed the 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 variables that we're looking at the comparison group now I'm actually comparing because remember our uh, reference variable is the one that we leave out so now now we're gonna compare to other and since we actually do want to compare other and black because that we didn't get that result in our first analysis I'm keeping other out and that's gonna enable me to compare black to other and that now I'm running that analysis and if you think through this, you, you're probably going to figure it out before we get there. But if, if you, you look at our last analysis, you're probably going to see some similarities. And indeed, we do. And what we find here now, um, we get um, a look at the coefficients now. Now, what we want to look at, remember, I kept other uh, uh, out of the analysis, so other is our reference variable, so I'm comparing black and other. That's what I wanted to compare, right? Because I didn't have that in the first analysis, so I'm comparing black and other here, okay? It also does white and other, but we already did that. And actually, if you look here, uh, we get the same result. It was not significant, 4033. If I go up, if I go up to the first analysis, uh, I could see that it is it is right there, a white and other, uh, same significance. Here is a negative 4,000 because we're saying other makes $4,000 less than white. Okay? And now here we, we're saying white makes 4,033 more than other. So it's the same thing. Okay? But we already knew this. What we were interested is in doing this other this other analysis was in the comparisons between black and others. And what we find is that for uh, uh, that the the family income is minus thirteen thousand six hundred and eighty six for blacks compared to others, controlling for highest year of school completed. Again, now we know black uh, blacks make thirteen thousand six hundred and eighty-six dollars less per year compared to others controlling for education. Okay, hope that was helpful.